everyone, so I did um, a video like this a couple weeks ago and it was my throwback Thursday So it was like taking it back to my favorites from last year and I got a really good response and I really enjoy doing these videos um, I've got a couple of ideas of kind of how to spice it up so I can do throwback Thursdays every Thursday But for right now, we're just going to talk about my favorites from September 2014 so I only have in October will be my two year anniversary, so I only have one year ago for these. Um, just so y'all know, and I made my little list, so let's get into it. My first favorite that I mentioned um, in September 2014, I was gonna say 15, um, was the show Sherlock. It is on Netflix, it's a BBC show, and it is amazing. And annoyingly enough, a new season has not come out in a whole year. So we're just sitting here waiting for some new Sherlock. It um, has Benedict Cumberbatch, as I'm sure a lot of you know if you've heard of the show. And it's just awesome. You get to kind of see how his mind works. Um, so he'll like make these assumptions about people. Like, oh, you're, well, your wife's cheating on you. Kind of like Dr. House-esque, but like to the extreme. Um, and people be like, well, how did you know? And he like tells them every little bitty thing about him. It's very interesting. Um, I really enjoy it. So... Um, there's that, and if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. There's three seasons on Netflix. Um, oh, I forgot to go grab it. My next thing, I'm not going to grab it, because I've, I've showed it so many times, including in my August favorites from, you know, a couple of days ago, and that is my Lizeral Hot Cloth Cleansing Polish. It is a cleanser, and I had gotten it, I guess, in my September Birch Box, um, and I mentioned there... <laughs> These, this shirt's a little, a little janky, just excuse that. Um, I mentioned in that video that I am slightly obsessed with British YouTubers, or really all things England. Um, as you can tell, I mean, you see that? There's my little Beatles gallery wall. They're my very favorite. Well, that's, that's just Paul. That's from a concert I went to last year. Um, but I love the Beatles, um, ever, always have. I've been to the UK once. I'm kind of obsessed. So I watched a lot of British YouTubers, and they always talk about the Lizeral Cleansing Polish. And so I got it, and I'm like, is it going to be that good? And it's amazing. I bought um, a full size recently, and I love it. I like it better than any other, like, um, makeup wipe or anything like that. So I highly recommend you. It, if you don't know where to get it, you can get it on Birchbox's website. So you should go check it out. And again, I will link, um, I'll link my August favorites down below in case you missed it, because I talked about that. And also link this original video so you kind of you know know what I said then. Um, I have three nail polishes and annoyingly enough I just did my nails with my little 5 by fall which if you're keeping up with that here it is. I'll link that below those two if you haven't um, kept up with it. But I just did it. So I was like oh well I'll just do nail swatches of the three polishes I mentioned. And then I got finished with my nails and I was like I guess that uh, nail swatch thing didn't really happen did it. So first is this. This is from the Sally Hansen Triple Shine. Here, look, we'll make it look all nice. Uh, the Sally Han Hansen Triple Shine formula. This is the shade Archipelago Glow. Now, I don't think they make this anymore, but they make something very similar. This is a really pretty greeny teal glitter, and it does look like this on the nails. I love all glittery nails, but I like it to actually look like this. I don't like it to have, like, little specks. I mean, this is what it looks like. Um, I've used, let's see. Yeah, I'm right here in the bottle, so not that far, but it's like I was telling y'all, it's very interesting to see these videos because you see what you've actually used up, like the Liz Earl, which it was only a travel size that is about yay big. That's gone, which it's only one thing, but it's so nice to know that I am using things up. This guy, you know, we've used up that much, but I do love this and I, I still like that a lot. It's very bright and glittery. Um, and like I said, there's a little swatch of it for y'all. It does look like that on the nails. Next is this guy. <clears throat> this is probably one of my favorite blue nail polishes. If you don't know, blue nail polish is my favorite. I just think it goes with so much and I really like it. And this is the Nicole by OPI You're Steal the One. Now, at the beginning of this year, I was doing a project polish, which I have since quit because, um, as I've said many times, if you've been watching me, I think I just really was biting off more than I could chew. I was trying to do way too many project pan type things and I got to where I wasn't enjoying my makeup. So that was one of the things I did cut out. But this was in it and 
that, that glare is something else. But I've used up about half of this. It is a true vibrant blue. It's really nice and pretty. And again, it's a glitter polish and it shows up like all glitter. So I really like this. You can still get this and I recommend it if you're looking for a really nice blue polish, which again, blue is like a really fun color, but it just goes with so much. So I highly recommend you check that out. And last but not least, and I have seen this recently as well, this is the Sally Hansen Luster Shine. This is in the shade 005 Lava. Now, I really hope you can tell that it is an orange with a pink duochrome and some gold. This is like an autumn leaf. Like, if you live up um, in the New England states and y'all have a legitimate autumn, um, I think this is what it looks like. Now, in case you don't know, I live in Georgia. Before that, I lived in Florida um, for college. So I've never been somewhere where we had like a true fall. Like, not really. Like, it's going to stay probably in the 80s or 70s until uh, October, November. And then it's just going to get cold. We don't get like beautiful leaves and stuff. We get like a lot of brown leaves that fall off the trees and are dead. We get like two days of, look at the yellow, and then they're gone. Um, but if you have an autumn, this is what I feel like it looks like. This is beautiful. It's very metallic. It does have a duochrome, um, and I think it's perfect for all year round, but especially for autumn, I think it'll be great. And if you don't have it, I think it's a very unique polish. You probably don't have anything else in your collection like it. So again, I think that warrants you going out and buying it. And it's Sally Hansen, so it's a few dollars. It's not very much. Next is something which, funnily enough, I posted, what did I put? My empties video? Was it empties? Yeah my empties video yesterday um, and I was using this palette and I hadn't even watched this video. Um, this made it to my yearly favorites, my 2014 yearly favorites, um, which I'll link that below in case you're still interested in that. Um, it is my Kat Von D Esperanza palette. This palette is everything. First and foremost, it does have a giant, those are my, okay. You know a lot of people do this. I do this on the weekends, uh, which I know it's Thursday. Um, well, today, the day I'm filming is Thursday. But I don't have class on Thursday. I was up at 5 o'clock uh, on the beach looking for sea stars. If you follow me on Instagram, you knew that. But um, I just kind of let y'all know. Oh, well, now I can't do it. I'm in pajamas. These are my boxers. Aren't they cute? I wear boxer shorts to sleep in because I think they're real comfy. But it's got a huge mirror. And then it's got these eight shades. Got this line, though. Like, come on. And these shades are beautiful. And they're very random, it seems like. There's a lot of different colors in it. But I look at this and I get so much inspiration. Now, I told this story when I hauled it. At first, I was like, I don't know why anybody would ever want it. And now, it's my favorite palette. I always travel with it. So, I'm going to do some swatches. I have the shade Selena, Day Glow, Galore, and Placebo. So, Selena... Day Glow, which is what's on my inner corner, and it's kind of an orangey shade. I mean, it's not orange, excuse me. Like a greeny, almost opalescent shade. I think it, well, it's not really picking up the green, but it is very green. Then we have Galore and Placebo. That pigmentation is insane. And as people say all the time with Kat Von D, these colors are so unique, and they really are. I really want to start a series where I take palettes I have and I dupe them out. And this was the one I wanted to start with, but I can't find dupes for any of these colors. Um, and then I have Santeria, Archangel, South, and Dog Roses. So Santeria, which is really deep charcoal. It's got some like blue glitter in it, but I really like to put that um, as a crease shape. Look at those. So South is very close to my skin color. That looks a little powdery. It doesn't apply powdery. And I like to use it to blend out. I don't really have a crease shade in today, but I use South to blend it out. Today, I've got Day Glow on the inner corner. I've got, what is that shade? Archangel. Yeah. Archangel on my lid. And then my, this purple is my Vintage Grape um, Alme Shadow Softy, which if you know, um, again, if you keep up with my 5 by fall, I'm trying to use that up for this fall. Um, and then I used South as my blend shade. So, 
This is gorgeous. Um, I don't think you can get it anymore, but if you have it, pull it back out. And again, I like to like take note of how much I've actually used it. And um, well, none of these have been hit pan. I hope y'all can tell. There's little bitty dips in each one, so not the most use that you could ever see in a palette in a year. I mean, you could probably use the whole palette in a year, but I've definitely been using it. Next is the, this is sad. This is the Lord and Berry Kajal, what is it called? The Black Silk Mini Kajal Coal Liner. And you're like, oh my gosh, Becky, look at that. Kippo, can you not, please? Gosh, she's trying to mess with my makeup. Um, and you're probably like, Becky, look at you. You've, uh, you've made so much progress. This was a mini when I got it a year ago. I know, that's really sad. It is really black. And it stays on the waterline like nothing else. I really like um, liners that you can just kind of sweep along the waterline. And they're black. You don't have to keep on building it up. And that does it. It's a really great liner. I just have so many black liners. And um, look at that. I mean, I've, I haven't even made an inch of progress in, a, in an entire year. That's a little crazy. And I also mentioned these eyeliners. These are the Too Faced Perfect Eyes eyeliner. Again, now this I've made more progress but this was a deluxe size sample. So I have the shade Perfect Black, which is crazy black. Can y'all see the difference between those two? I mean, it is super black. And then I have the shade Perfect Espresso, which is actually what I'm using today. Um, and it is very deep, dark brown. Look at those shades. So these are beautiful. Again, they stay in the waterline. I do find that they gather in my tear duct. And one time I was wearing it and like I ended up getting it down on my cheeks. I don't really know how that happened. But, can you not? I hate him. I hate him so much. He's the worst, worst puppy in the whole wide world. Um, but, so that's kind of weird. They kind of move a little bit, but they're awesome. And if you want something that is super pigmented and dark, I recommend these. Next, and this went out, but now it's back, is the, well, I showed you the front. The Tarte Amazonian Clay Palette. This was the fall palette for last year, but then it came back this summer, and you can still get it on Sephora's website. So, it's got a big mirror, which is also very nice. It's got this stupid thing, which drives me crazy. I have done a full-on review of this palette, actually. So, if you're interested um, in that, uh, I'll link it below. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. But I really like this palette. Now, I'm going to swatch. Again, I have a review. So I'll just swatch these four. And they're very pigmented, beautiful. Um, like a lot of Tarte palettes. And I really don't know why they do it. Um, the little insert is where all the names are, which is ridiculously annoying. But there they are swatched. It's more of a neutral palette, but it's beautiful. But the reason why I love it so much are actually the face products. So, everyone talks about the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blushers. This is in the shade Unleashed. And, for some reason, it really just doesn't swatch like much. But it's a beautiful rosy pink. There it is. And it looks amazing on the cheeks. It's actually not what I have on today. I'm using the Balm Staniac, again, by by fall. But it's gorgeous. Now, the other two I do have. Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. This is the matte one. Which, just for comparison, because I didn't have it at the time. I've also got the shimmery one now. I got this in an empty bag. I have a finger. Yeah, it's more pigmented, for sure, than the shimmery one. Now, it looks a little bit orange on my skin, but I find it... Oh, gosh. I'm sorry. That was... This is a little bit of a hot mess, and this lighting... Ugh. Sorry. Um... It looks a little orange on my skin, but for contouring, I think it's great. It is what I have today in the hollows of my cheekbones, and I just think it's beautiful. And then this highlight, it's called Champagne. You could get it, you know how they have the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Little Sets? Champagne was in it. It is a very warm highlight, and it's it's very pretty. I really, really, really like it. And it is on my face today. It's, it's very in-your-face highlight. So if you don't like an in-your-face highlight, then you're probably not going to like this. 
But if you do, which is very, in your face is really kind of on trend. I recommend it. This is like $38. And again, the eyeshadows are great. They're very neutral, so a lot of people would love them. Again, I get more use out of brightly colored eyeshadows, but this is great, and I think you would like it. Um, something else is this palette. Now, I got this palette on sale, and I like it. I do really like it. But, I don't know. It's got the, I've got a whole review of it, so if you want to see that, I'll link it below. It's got the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, which just doesn't really do much for me. It's right there. It just doesn't. And then it's got these two, which are super shimmery. I mean, I wore Sun Bunny the other day because I am a little tanner than usual, and it's just so shimmery. But the reason why I put it in last year was for this powdered sunshade, which, yes, it's pretty, but it is super, super chunky. I mean, it is like gold glitter on your face, and it is straight up gold. So, I don't know if they make this anymore, but I'm just not sure I could, in good faith, recommend it to anybody. Again, I, I have done a full review of this guy. It's real cute packaging. And I'll link that review below in case you want to see swatches in a more in-depth review. But, I just don't love it. And you can tell, again, it's been a year, and none of these really have a big dip in them, and I think that's a big reason why. So, that's that's kind of bad. Um, one Another thing that I've actually totally used up, which again, I love having these videos and being like, mm, I used it up. And the goal is to get to the point where I just like skip a whole year, because it's like, I mean, I don't have any of those anymore. They're all used up. Which, But that was the Benefit Fake Up Concealer. I really liked that. It was a hydrating concealer. However, the coverage wasn't anything astounding. And if you want a dupe for it, I think the CoverGirl and Olay Concealer Balm, which mine got a little janky, it melted. Um, and this packaging is not near as cute as the Benefit. But this is very, very similar, and I think you really get the same look. But neither one of them have the most extreme coverage. So if you like a lot of coverage in your concealer, which I feel like most of us do, I'm not sure I could recommend it. But for dry skin, um, it's really nice. As you can see, I probably could have used some more concealer. I have these huge, like, blemishes. That's what you're supposed to call them in, like, the YouTube community. Oh, I have a blemish. I have a giant pimple. And they're just, they're just coming out to say hello. So, I'm sure y'all have noticed that. But, I apologize. I, I mean, that's just life. I mean, I say I apologize, but y'all, I got a lot going on. I kind of stress out. I got a lot of school stuff. Anyway. Last but not least is my lip color. It's not my Sonia Kasha Moisture Lux Tinted Lip Balm, which is in my 5x Fall, annoyingly. But I really wanted to show y'all a lip swatch because this is great. These went, people went crazy for these last year. This is the Sephora Rouge um, Lipsticks. This is in the shade Hot Bikini. It is beautiful. It is a pinky, purple, super bright, in-your-face lip color. If you're like, oh, I like a really demure, like, nude, this is not for you. But look at that. Unfortunately, these colors were limited edition, but this lipstick line is still available. And I don't know, I think they're the same formula. But this is a matte, and it's awesome. And I really like it. It's a little drying, but it's beautiful. And even though I really do love it, there's not that much use of it. Which is agitating because I love it. It's one of my favorites. But it's hard to use it a lot. Especially because, again, I am a scientist. Um, so I kind of... I, I feel more comfortable doing crazy eye looks than crazy lip looks. Um, but I don't know. So that is my September favorites from 2014. A year later, you see how I feel. Most of these products I still really like. This one I'm, I'm not so crazy about anymore. Um... But I hope you found this helpful. I will go ahead and link all those videos I mentioned below, as well as everything that's on my face that I didn't mention, even though I'm pretty sure I said everything. But, you know, just to be thorough. Um, let me know if you have any questions, comments, requests, suggestions. I love hearing from y'all. It's my favorite part about doing YouTube. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all real soon. Bye.